Hi Pisces, this is Shah speaking from Charlie's Angel Tarot and I hope you're well and safe. I hope that you will enjoy this reading and this is the reading for the 27th to the 3rd of May. And um, I'm using the Archangel Metatron and the Mythic deck in the tea leaf. So, I also go live on Monday, Wednesday and Friday usually. So if you're new, then please subscribe and hit that bell. And hit the choice all. And then you'll get notified when I go live or when new videos are loaded up. And welcome to my Cyber Angels. Thank you very much for coming back and supporting, sharing and liking. As you, may, you are part of what this channel is. You make it. Um, absolutely nearly perfect. Well, I think so. I'm grateful anyway. Thank you. And I hope you will enjoy the reading too. If it doesn't resonate with you, have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign to also get a complete picture because we, our astrological charts do exist from planets, other planets and stars and signs. Okay, let's get started with your reading on Monday the 27th. You've got the bats. Take care. Enemies are working against you. Enemy, so this is a warning. Take care of people that aren't pure. Somebody might be jealous of you and working against you behind the scenes. You've got, they might be jealous because you've got recognition as you have the three of pentacles. The Three of Pentacles means you've got recognition. This could be from a parent, this could be of a teacher, this could be of somebody that admires you or that fancies you. <laughs> oh, that's good news if you aren't hooked up. So anyway, your hard work or your beautiful charisma is shining and it's got, um, yeah, it's got a, a, is a beacon on its own. So stay shining, shining uh, Pisces because somebody fancies you or somebody is jealous of you so be warned your charisma and your beautiful sensitive self and personality is awesome and I know a lot of um, Pisces so take care because you are sensitive review and reflection so review or uh, um, evaluate who this could be or reflect on what has happened uh, for somebody to be jealous and to work behind the scenes against you. Time out is needed. This is a lot like the Four of Swords or the Hermit. So take time to reflect and evaluate. You've got number two. You are in balance. So to stay in balance take time to reflect on when remember this is a general reading so it doesn't necessarily have to be somebody that fancies you it could just be a friend of you um, and they can see that you're working hard and they're jealous of you then you have bread in the middle of the week on Wednesday period of prosperity and abundance you're breaking uh, new ground you're breaking the bread so that means that um, in England we have all oh right you know I'm going out to earn some bread that means money so you your money might be coming in unexpectedly you might be receiving more or steadily you excuse me for the sniffing but I think I've got a cold coming on it is cold here although the Sun is shining you've got the Emperor the Emperor also stands for Aries the Emperor um, the, for, for the zodiac sign I mean but also represents a wise man a man that has the knowledge uh, and is also well read this could also be judicial issues in situations okay as somebody like an advocate advisor social worker anybody like that it could also be a father figure so you might be seeking legal advice you might be seeking medical advice you might be seeking uh, judicial advice this could be from a father figure or uh, uh, like I said anybody that is well read could also be a teacher so you might be seeking advice on 
how to earn your bread or how to continue after being an apprentice to, be, to being the qualified person to get a promotion perhaps or how to continue stay, staying in balance Ooh, sorry darling to stay in balance as you have to perhaps you are reflecting on that from the a card from the Archangel Metatron Air 13 well 13 in the Yin and the Yang or the I Ching means fellowship so there might be more friends but you have you are reflecting on friendships or partnerships and it says fly free fly free so don't um, don't be apprehensive to spread your wings to spread your wings and fly and get that promotion to get more steadiness in uh, or security in the way you earn money bread on Friday we you have the teapot deep friendship with someone of the same sex you might have or get a um, um, a best friend a best friend for life um, so that could be that uh, you're seeking uh, you might have a best friend for life um, that you are seeking advice from them deep friendship with someone from the same sex this could be Friday you've got night the knight of swords the knight of swords means that you will be getting news this could be through cyber this could be a text message email a phone call or even uh, air mail paper the old-fashioned and there might be more messages because you've got two knights riding the same horse in this deck there are two okay because there's also an underlining meaning story to the mythic deck usually it's just one person on a horse and then you've got silver warrior of light and the warrior of light this reminds me of uh, Guinevere or the knights of the round table um, they were standing together and they always used to advise each other and debate and they used to fight against um, enemies but now it the sword is representing the truth and fighting to keep the peace and to protect others the loved ones that we have so you might get um, some news from a loved one that will um, or somebody might ask you to be their advisor so you will advise them and protect them with the right knowledge and clarity you've got number 30 so that becomes a three so that is a creative number okay creativity now I'm getting um, uh, a poem in my head I don't know whether you know it one for sorrow two for joy three for a girl four for a, a boy five for silver and so there might be five reasons I don't know why um, but you might be uh, silver when you see five magpies or one magpie this is a nursery rhyme then it's five for silver and I don't know why I got that n uh, that rhyme but when you get that rhyme and you see five magpies it usually means that you might be um, receiving money so perhaps this um, could be also receiving money like the silver coins so it could be to do with something with money protecting your money perhaps so that is that um, this friend this deep friendship uh, of the same sex might give you that advice to save something for a rainy day something as simple as that at the weekend you have the camel persevere and you will overcome problems perhaps you might have problem uh, money financial problems or issues and that's why I'm getting to hear saves or, or that friend will save save some for a rainy day perhaps it's just that advice was just in time okay persevere and you will overcome problems then you have the Queen of Wands 
the Queen of Wands is a Leo. Here in this deck you see the lion. Usually it's a little black cat. <laughs> I love it. I love the way some decks are so awesome. And that's the lioness. Because the King of Wands is Aries, but don't ex um, and she's the Leo, because that's the second house. And but don't exclude Sagittarius or Aries either. So that might be a best friend of yours. Okay, she's a very independent, uh, uh, in self-dependent uh, lady. She's very independent lady. She's determined in what she wants and what she needs and sometimes she can be um, stubborn and this could be you you might have fire in your chart or you might have a friend that is stubborn and always goes into action for what she wants but like I said at the beginning of the video we have a rising sign a moon sign and other planets and other uh, um, shapes and signs in our charts so if this is you, then you might be going into action over the weekend for something that you desperately need or want. Or you might get a helping hand advice. This could be from an Aries, because the Emperor is Aries. This could be from an air sign, or uh, like a, a Gemini, Libra or an Aquarian. And this could be from uh, a Leo. So the air and fire signs are prominent in your reading. You've got number 33 here. The angels are with you. Dimensional gateway, an invitation. Okay, dimensional gateway. And dimensional gateway means there might be a new beginning or an opening for you. A door might be opening. The angels have given you this door because 33 is a 6, so you are in balance. And I think you are in balance uh, throughout the week because you start with a 2, then with 13, friends and fellowship. And it does read uh, a special friend here or a friend could give you advice. Um, a 13 becomes a 4, so that is um, definitely a proper and safe foundation. So that friendship will be built on a proper foundation, or was built on a proper foundation. It's somebody that you can count on. You're creative enough um, during the week to get in truth, honesty and clarity, or the right advice. And you've got a new doorway, as you've got 33, which becomes a 6, which is also balance. Now the overall energy is the Four of Swords. Perhaps it is time to um, contemplate or meditate and take time out and evaluate. And what is of no use to you to leave, throw that away and take with you what you have learned mentally and physically and life experience wise as well. Like I said, you're no longer the apprentice. You're fully trained and you've got recognition. You've also got the card from Archangel Metatron. It is time for release and that goes very well with the meditation card or sitting quiet and evaluating card. So let go, like I said, of the past. You've got number four. Again, stability, proper foundations. It's time for release what you no longer need. Wow, I love this reading. It is quite peaceful and this has been also the general energy in Capricorn and in Aquarius to contemplate and so that you can find your balance and what to know what you want to do the next step. Go with the flow and that was the boundary and that was for Aquarius. Yes, go with the flow, but take with you what is of necess necessity to you and let go of what is a burden. Don't keep dragging that dead horse along with you. It's no use um, dragging a dead horse. It's too heavy, okay? You don't get any further anywhere. So I that's a just an English say, uh, saying, dragging a dead horse. So I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Please like and share with family and friends 
and I hope to see you in the live sessions. So make sure you subscribe and click the bell and give us the thumbs up. Ciao ciao and be blessed.